most NFL drafts have a consensus QB one. Shoot, most have a consensus QB two and a QB three at times. During draft season, QBs are under a microscope and oftentimes overanalyzed. Is the guy a winner? Can he change the franchise? Is he accurate? Does he have elite arm strength? Does he have the ability to make big time throws? Is he from a big time college? Most first round QBs check all of these boxes, but some simply don't. In the 2018 draft, Josh Allen didn't check out these boxes. Welcome to the video, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button. This is our first Max and Juan Cast NFL original video. Hope you guys like it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button also. Let's hop into the Max and Juan Cast time machine for a minute. It's 2014. Josh Allen has no Division I offers from FCS schools or FBS schools. This is partly because he's from Firebuck, California, population of 8,200. Part of it's because instead of focusing solely on football, he plays other sports. He doesn't attend Nike camps, seven on seven specialty camps. He even spurned bigger high schools in the area so he could keep to the family mantra of you bloom where you're planted. With no other options at a high school, he went to JUCO for a year, hoping to draw the attention of bigger division one programs. Only Wyoming sought him out and the seed of Josh Allen was planted in Wyoming. This is the point in the video we want to explain the difference between Joshy Allen and Joshua Allen. They're similar, but Josh Allen, he's carefree with the ball. He turns it over. He's loosey goosey. He thinks he can do everything, but he can't. But Joshua Allen, he's sophisticated. He works through his progression. He finds the open guy and he makes throws people would never even think to throw. His time in Wyoming would be described as extreme highs and extreme lows. For every great decision, there was an equally bad one. Rolling out to the right, trying to laser a ball 70 yards to the left and bad results would happen. He thought he could get away with everything because he was so talented, but the truth is he couldn't. His will to win ended up biting him in the ass. Leading up to the draft, everyone was split on Allen. You loved him or you hated him. And at the center of this debate was a specific number. His completion percentage was 56%, well below average college quarterbacks. Here's a list of quarterbacks that were drafted that had a lower than 60% completion rating. Josh McCown, Tyrod Taylor, Sean Hill, Derek Anderson, Brian Hoyer, and Kyle Bowler. That's not a list any quarterback wants to be a part of, and it didn't deter the Bills as they traded a first round pick and two seconds to move up to get Allen. Stop me if you heard this before. Josh Allen was good and bad his rookie year. There were some highlight plays of him hurdling dudes. But again, there was Joshy Allen making boneheaded plays, dumb interceptions, bouncing balls to receivers. The mechanics were all out of whack. Even into his sophomore year, he was Joshy Allen. His touchdowns were higher, his interceptions were lower, but boneheaded plays plagued him. Even in the biggest game of the year against the Texans in the playoffs, Josh Allen made one of the dumbest plays in NFL history. Even as he led the Bills to the playoffs, and this is the Bills, a team that had barely made the playoffs in the last 20 years, no one believed in him. In my years of watching QBs, I've never seen a season to season improvement like Josh Allen. He went up a level in all facets. His running became more effective. His confidence skyrocketed. But more importantly, his mechanics, it drastically improved, which led to more pinpoint accuracy. Mechanically, he looked like a completely different quarterback. Imagine one offseason, Cam Newton formed into Tom Brady, mixed all in one, like on some Dragon Ball Z stuff. With this game cleaned up, the Bills offense went on a 25 kill streak in Modern Warfare 2. They went nuclear and Joshua Allen has officially arrived. 2020 was a magical year for the Bills and Allen, but unfortunately, in the AFC Championship, they got their ass kicked by the Chiefs in a game that Mahomes just straight up out dueled out. But as fate would have it, we got the rematch next year in the playoffs. The result the same, Chiefs win, Bills go home. But the huge difference, Josh Allen out dueled Patrick Mahomes this time. Looking back at the 2018 QB class, four years later as the dust settles no questions of who qb1 is even lamar jackson winning an mvp in his second year isn't enough to sway the consensus many teams are going to try to find the next josh allen we all know the nfl is a copycat league so what's the new qb archetype 
that teams are trying to copy. The Project QB. We've already seen it last year. The 49ers traded three first round picks to get a guy in Trey Lance. And I think in my opinion, he's an even bigger project than Josh Allen. And with the 2022 draft coming up right around the corner, it's no different this year. But teams are gonna be sadly disappointed year after year. In all likelihood, you're gonna end up with guys like Jamarcus Russell and Carson Wentz. Josh Allen is a diamond in the rough. He's a once in a lifetime prospect. This doesn't happen. And there's our first NFL player breakdown, man. We always do NBA players, but this time we did an NFL player. We like to thank you guys for all the support we've been getting. Hey, draft season right around the corner, man. Come over here to the Max and Juan cast for all your draft needs, player breakdowns, NBA breakdowns, podcasts, the whole nine. Make sure to hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you guys already subscribe, you know the deal. Unsubscribe, resubscribe. We see you guys in the next video. Peace.